If you ask a kid, hey, do you want to learn how to program a computer, you'll get a lot of eye rolling. But if you're like, hey, would you like to build your own game, that is what really gets kids excited. We see Hopscotch as being sort of the Legos of the 21st century for kids. Here you have digital blocks that you can put together to make digital toys. What color do you want? Random. Random will change it every time. Try random. Yeah. It's growing. Hopscotch is the first ever programming language that was designed to be written on a mobile device. Can I give you a hint about the values? Right now, America is facing a major skills gap where there will be 1.4 million computer programming and engineering jobs by the year 2020 and only 400,000 computer programming graduates. We brought in a lot of kids and we would ask them questions like, hey kids, if you could make any website you wanted, what kind of website would you make? And they were like, I would make an app for my iPhone. <laughs> we thought that was a really important avenue to get kids at. Can I make a new one? A new project? Yeah. Yeah. When Flappy Bird disappeared, we got a note from a teacher a week later saying that he went into his class and said, okay, what is a problem that you wish you could solve? And the kids were like, my biggest problem is that Flappy Bird got pulled off of the app store. <laughs> and so he was like, okay, great. Let's see if we can make Flappy Bird using Hopscotch. And they did. The class made fully working versions of Flappy Bird. It was really remarkable to see. Most of educational technology has it where the computers are programming the kids. The kids are learning from the computers. What we're trying to do is create a system where the kids program the computers and in so doing, build a new mental model for how to think about the world and think about problems.